Hey guys, how are you today? It's Mo from Programmer Tube. Today we want to see how to determine if a string has all unique characters in C Sharp. So if you're interested, let's jump right into it. Okay, so here I am in Visual Studio. Let's go ahead and create a new project. Click on File, New Project. From the New Project window, make sure you have Visual C Sharp selected and expand it to select Windows. From the list here, we're going to select Console Application. Let's name this one is Unique. Click OK. Okay, so now we have our Console Application created. Let's assume we have a string S equals Nice Day. Now, how do we determine in code that this string has all unique characters? Let's see how we can implement a function called is unique static that returns a boolean. Let's call it is unique and it takes a string as input. This function will return true if it finds that all characters in the string are unique, meaning that each character will be repeated only once. So return true if this is a string that has all unique characters. We will count each character in the string. If any character is repeated more than once, then this string does not have unique characters. All right, so we'll say for each char C and S, we're going to count it. The best and most efficient way to do this is to use the bucketing technique. We're going to use an integer array which has 256 integer in it. So this basically will count each character. We're going to use the character itself as an index into this array. First thing we need to initialize it to all zero. So we can say array do clear and give it our array that starts at zero and its length is count.length, minus one since it's zero based. All right, so now say if plus plus count of our character C is greater than one, return false, count character that is duplicate. If we scan the whole string and we don't find any duplicate characters, then that means this string has all unique. So let's give it a try. Let's test it out here. Console the right line and let's say is unique and here as and give it our function is unique and we're going to Pass it the string, and if this returns true, we say yes, otherwise, we say no. Okay, let's run this. Control F5. So as you can see, nice day is unique, it says yes, because all characters are unique. Let's try another example good day instead of nice day. Control F5. You can see good day says is unique, no, because good has double O, which is a duplicate character. Let's say another example. Wonderful day. All right, wonderful day is actually all unique characters. And finally, if we say awesome day, it says awesome day no. And that's how it works. So one other enhancement we can do is make it treat capital letters and small letters the same. So here we could say R dot to lower T or to upper is the same. And the reason we want to do this is because we can treat capital A and small letter A the same way. So that's it for this video. Please don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.